All right, so you've seen these power wheels. Lots of people have them. They're a few hundred dollars for one of the bigger ones. Like we have the Gator, and then we've got this custom Dodge truck. Anyway, they're really fun, but the problem is the batteries don't last very long, and we've got a simple hack. Let's first show you how, how well it works, so check it out. He's gonna put it in first. So this is the first gear. Turn it on. That's not too bad. Go ahead and hit it in second. There's a huge difference if you've ever seen the regular power wheels. This thing is cooking. All right, so this is how you do it. So this is the battery that came in here and it did not work. It was uh, just old. You know, this is from like 2011 or whatever. So that wasn't working right. And what we did is you can see the connection like this. All I did is I cut this down the sides until I got to those prongs inside of there on the receiver side right in here. So I just took these two. You can see the pieces of where I cut that blue prong away until there was two metal bits that were perfect for sticking in the outer ends. And this is really how it works. So this is any battery you'll see the B positive and, and negative. All I did is slip that inside of here on both sides, and then now I just put a little bit of tape on there. So stick it in here, stick it in here, put some duct tape to kind of hold it all together and make sure that it can't slip out and also cover up the, the other terminals so that way water doesn't get in there. You know, if it sits outside a little bit, this one's kind of wide open. But anyway, put that together, stick it in place. Looks like we're almost due for some new duct tape. Probably shouldn't have taken that apart again. But there we go. It's ready to rock. And then I can recharge that battery when it goes dead again. And get rid of this super heavy old battery. He can jump in and ride around. Yeah, we did it with that other one too. Yep, and so this one, a little bit different. We could have did it the exact same way, but I had already bought, uh, a friend of mine said, hey, you gotta check this out, and showed me a way to, let me see if I can get this open. So we bought an adapter and plugged it in this way on this one and it cost a couple bucks like six or seven dollars but just wasn't necessary and I figured that out once we took this apart I was able just to strap it in there and tape it up and now go ahead and fire it up again see if you drive around a little bit it has two speeds and it had a little governor switch on it too to keep it from going into second gear and then we fixed it. So we took out the little garbage switch. Go ahead and uh, turn and I'll, I'll move this. This thing's got some crazy power on it too. Now. You got it. Straighten it out, straighten out. Straighten out your wheel and you would have been fine. All right, good. Oh, it's a little bit too fast, buddy. These things zip now. I mean, they're probably going twice as fast as they came out originally. Anyway, check it out. This is a quick and easy hack that you can do with your son. I did it with my son or daughter, and uh, it makes everything possible. So, check it out. Try it for yourself. Check in next time.